Okay, so this is a question from papers one, variant three, May, June, 2021. Two masses, M and M, capital M and small m, are connected by an inextensible string which passes over a frictionless pulley. Mass M rests on a frictionless slope as shown. So the pulley and the slope are frictionless, which means no frictional force involved. Next, the slope is at an angle theta to the horizontal. Okay. The two masses are initially held stationary and then released. Mass M accelerates down the slope. Capital M accelerates down the slope. Which expression must be correct? Okay, so this is the mass M which is accelerating down the slope. It has an acceleration down the slope. Now, since it has an acceleration down the slope, the direction of the resultant force must also be down the slope. Remember, whatever is the direction of the acceleration, the resultant force is in the same direction. Acceleration and resultant force are always in the same direction. So that's how I knew that the resultant force on this mass is down the slope. Now let's look at all the other forces acting on this object. What are the forces acting on this object? Number one, weight. Right, weight is always present and the direction of weight is always directed down, straight down. So let me write the weight as mg, capital MG. Now, since this is a slope, remember on a slope, you need to resolve the weight into its components, the X and Y components. And how to do that? The two components must be, one of them must be perpendicular to the slope and the other one must be parallel to the slope. So the two components must be something like this. These are the two components of the weight force. Now let's name these two components According to the angle, this is the angle. If you do a little trigonometry, you will find out that whatever angle is over here, the same angle, you will get the same angle over here. So this component must be mg cosine theta and this one would be mg sine theta. So these are my two components for the weight force. Next, what other force is involved? on this object. Mm, there is no frictional force, right? Because the slope is frictionless. What else? Tension. Tension is involved. Why? Because we have a string. The mass is hanging along a string. So there is always a tension along the string. And the direction of this tension is going to be away from the object. Remember, tension force is always directed away from the object of concern. So that's it. These are all the forces acting on the mass M, the tension force and Mg sine theta along the slope. These are the two forces acting along the slope. You also have another force, Mg cosine theta. So for now, let's just uh, be concerned with the forces along the slope. Now we'll come up with an equation since the resultant force is down the slope. That would mean that mg sine theta is greater than the tension. Right? mg sine theta must be greater than the tension force. That's why the object is moving down. So that's how I can come up with an equation. mg sine theta is greater than tension. Now, this tension is actually due to this little mass hanging down the pulley. So the mass, the weight of this mass, which is mg, small mg, 
the tension is actually equal to the weight of this little mass. So I can write my equation as something like this. Instead of the tension T, I wrote mg, small mg, because the tension is because of this little weight hanging down the pulley. Okay, so this is now my equation. Um, what to do? Just let's just simplify G and G cancelled out from both sides. Now we have M sine theta is greater than small m. Rearrange sine theta is greater than small m divided by capital M. And that's it. That matches option C. And that's your answer.